Hello and welcome to the Capital Net TV. I'm Nandita Narayan and today we have with us Ms. Nupur Garg. Ms. Garg is one among India's top 100 women in finance. She serves as an independent director on the board of SIDBI. Thank you for so much for taking time out and uh, you know talking with us. So uh, given that today's theme of the event is buyouts, could you run us through the role of LPs in a buyout? Typically LPs are people who invest in funds. So uh, if you're talking about the role uh, of an LP in a buyout, uh, it would have to go through a fund that is focused on buyout strategies. Okay. Um, so honestly, in India, if you're talking about the Indian context, there aren't many true blue buyout funds. So private equity in, say, a market like a US is all about buyouts. It's primarily about buyouts, okay, mm. not all about buyouts. But in India, um, we still don't have uh, leverage buyouts and management buyouts the way we have uh, in Western economies. What I have seen so far uh, in India, at least, is uh, buyouts, generally fund managers that or funds that take uh, more than a significant minority stake, generally people who are taking a controlling stake or a majority stake, term themselves as buyouts. Mm. Just not necessarily saying I'm buying all of the company. It could say that I'm taking a controlling or a majority stake in the yeah. company. There are a few buyout funds uh, and we've seen more of that happen um, because of all the uh, distress uh, on the balance sheets. Mm. Right? So the distressed funds or the special situations funds, they are, they are uh, doing more of the let's buy out the whole company um, strategy. Otherwise, generally speaking, uh, most funds uh, in the industry are not not buying all of the companies. So as an LP, when we're looking at a fund which says, I'm going to do a buyout, mm. um, I think it's very important to understand what uh, it entails uh, for somebody to execute a buyout strategy. So if you're going to buy out a company, it means you've got to run it. So, you know, it, it starts with the LP needing to understand what it means to actually um, have a buyout strategy. And then... Uh, understanding whether the team itself is equipped to ex you know to execute a buyout so what has been your investing experience in the domestic private equity market and also we'd like you to talk about uh, you know some success stories and strategies uh, from your experience at IFC so like i said i mean there, there aren't too many buyout funds in india i think what i have seen is that um, most lps have at different points made mistakes in backing funds that had a stated buyout strategy. Hmm. Uh, for example, if you are backing a buyout fund and you're going to buy a company, you need money to buy that company. Uh, and then if you do the basic math, if you're buying, uh, if, you, if you're putting in say $10 million to get a 10% stake, you need $100 million to buy a 100% stake. So if you are raising a hundred million fund and you're saying I'm going to take a ten million dollar ten percent stake in ten companies, you know, and, and then you want to do a buyout fund, you need hundred into ten a billion yeah. dollars to buy out a hundred percent in ten companies. And a mistake that many LPs have done uh, in the past is uh, thinking that a hundred million dollar fund could buy. 10 companies because what that has meant is that it has bought really teeny tiny companies because in 100 million dollars mm. you need a company that you can buy in mm. 10 million dollars yeah. and those teeny tiny companies they have challenges it's very difficult to grow them it's very difficult to sell them we are talking about a 50 crore uh, company there are not many people who would like to buy it uh, it's easier to to sell a company which is making 300 400 crores mm. because the growth journey is that much easier mm.